Wait, 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 wait. Before you pray to God, again, watch this video. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com and here's how to make all your prayers become a reality. Okay, so, you know, most of us at some time in our life have prayed to God. And if it's not God, it's some type of thing, whether it's luck or some form of a higher power, right? Well, the first question in order to make your wishes become a reality and your prayers to be answered, the first question to ask is, what is God? Right? Unless we know what it is that we're supposedly praying to, it would be very hard to get, to get what you want. So what is God? Well, if you want to use that word, which you could use any word you want, I always say, Alan Watts says, you can't get wet by the word water. It's not the word, but you can call it God. You can call it the universe. You can call it consciousness. What we know, energy, Allah, you can call it anything you want. But what we know for sure is that everything is energy. So look around right now. Look around, look around. Everything you just looked at is energy. It's vibrating at a frequency known as visible light. So when somebody says, this is reality. Yes, it is reality. And what reality is, is a very small bandwidth of energy, a very small amount of energy. That amount of energy is called visible light. So there's a bunch of energy or a bunch of God or a bunch of the universe that you cannot see, right? If you implant the word universe there, then it's an absolute, right? There's a bunch of the universe you cannot see. Yes, absolutely, right? And so this energy is in everything. You know, an atom, an A-T-O-M, that makes up, you know, you say, that. My wall's not energy. This chair is not energy. This is a chair. It's very real. Well, it's made up of atoms and those atoms are 95 to 99% empty space. Take that in for a minute. The chair I am currently sitting on is almost entirely made of nothing physical, <laughs> which is crazy. I'm basically like hovering right now. Um, because it's really what, what this is, is I'm an energy force, I'm an energy field, and so is the chair. So it's just two energy fields that are coalescing together. But an atom is 95 to 99% empty space. What is this empty space? It's just energy, but it's energy you cannot see. It's intelligence you cannot see. What do you mean by intelligence, Jake? Well, think about this. There's an intelligence here, right? spins the earth perfectly around the sun. It grows your little fingernails, makes your heart beat, grows the stars, bursts the stars, created the solar system, created life as we know it. It was smart enough to know that there had to be a lot of water on earth for humans to be here. Like think about the details of that. It wasn't just like some random like chance or luck. It wasn't just like I think I'll make Earth 75% water. Hopefully that works. Hopefully the humans eventually, when humans form, event, hopefully that's gonna be enough water for them. It was intelligence, it was, it was like a very clear intelligence. So the universe or this energy is perfect. And that's what you're made of as well. You're made of this same perfection. So God is that perfection or the universe is that perfection. Energy is that perfection. So every cell of your body has that same perfection that makes the stars light up at night. That makes the sun, the sun never forgets to come up in the morning. Technically, it's not going anywhere. We just happen to be spinning around it perfectly that gives it the illusion that it's rising and setting. But still, it hasn't just forgotten one morning to like, 
you know, I'm tired today. I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna wake up today. If that happened, it wouldn't be very long till this would turn into a giant galactic freezer, right? So the title of this video was before you pray to God, watch this. Because what do we think of as God? The reason I said all that is we think of God as this thing that's separate from outside of us. How could it be separate from you if it made you and you're, you're a variation, you're a manifestation, you're a frequency of it. How could it be separate from you? It technically is you. So comment down below, I am one with God. Comment that down below, I am one with God. So most people pray as if they're separate from this intelligence and they're praying from a purely physical dimension, which is a very small part of who you are. You're so much more than a body. And so if you pray, please, I hope, I wish, if, but, all you're doing is manifesting that lack. Science says energy is never created or destroyed. So if energy is never created or destroyed, where is all the other energy? It's vibrating at frequencies beyond visible light. Let me say that again. If energy is never created or destroyed, which it is, where is all the energy? Where is the money you want? Where is the job you want? Where is your soulmate? Where is these things? Technically, I would say, where are these things? Where is it? It's just that frequencies you cannot see. Because remember, this little place is called visible light. So if energy is never created or destroyed, all possibilities already exist. And every potential reality it's just a different manifestation. It's just a different arrangement of that divine intelligence, of that perfection of the universe. The trash can, a trash can is 95 to 99% empty space. Well, what's holding the trash can together? If it's 95 to 99% empty space, God, it's within everything. So you're already one with what you want. You can't be separate from it. So I said, before you pray to God, watch this. So instead of going into your prayer, asking God for things, thank God for what already exists. Even if you don't have it in your life, it already exists. It's just currently not in your experience. It's currently not in your realm of visible light, but it exists. Thank God for it. So what I had to do, I was 19 years old. I dropped out of college. I was trying to build my uh, career and every publisher told me no. And it, it was, um, things weren't were totally working out for me. My wife was in, she was my girlfriend. She was in debt because things weren't working out for me and um, nothing was really happening. And, and you know, I, I realized that all I was doing was taking all the energy that ever exists, which already exists, and pushing it into the future. I hope, I wish, it'd be nice if one day I could, you know, this will work out and that'll work out. And instead, I started thanking the universe that it already existed. So I started saying, thank you God, thank you universe, that I'm a world-renowned thought leader, inspiring millions of people, making millions of dollars. It wasn't, I hope I am that. I, it would be nice one day if I am that. Please, could you help me make me that one day? All the energy that ever was and ever will be already exists. Every cell in my body is this perfection of the universe. And I get to use my mind, my brain, your mental faculties. I get to use them. You get to use them in order to channel this God energy. The same energy, the same perfection, the same power, the same intelligence that spins the earth perfectly, created the earth, you channel a variation of it with your mental faculties, with your thoughts, with your imagination, with your attention, you channel it. But most people are channeling it negatively because they're saying, I hope, I wish, all the reality, all everything already exists, but they're saying, I hope, I wish, which is really saying, I don't have. God, please help me. God, please with this. God, please with that. And they keep pushing what they want into the future. 
And God, which is a conscious intelligence that responds to vibration, God doesn't speak um, English, it doesn't speak Arabic, it doesn't speak French, it doesn't speak languages. It speaks frequency. Please, God, help me. What frequency is that? I do not have. Please, God, I'm broke. What energy is that? Limitation. So you keep attracting it. God speaks frequency. Comment down below, the universe speaks frequency. Comment that down below, the universe speaks frequency. Comment that down below, the universe speaks frequency. That's what language it speaks. That's the universal language because everything is energy. It just has a bunch of different frequencies. So I started going into it and saying, I'm so grateful that I'm a world-renowned online personality inspiring millions of people. Guess what happened? My videos started going viral and it took only a couple years for like my whole life to change. This YouTube channel blew up. I, I attracted a million dollar, multi-million dollar international business. I can employ my friends. Like all these things that I used to hope and wish I'd get. Then I started talking as if I have them and pray to God, which was really, instead of praying, I hope, I wish, it was me thanking God for already having them. And guess what happened? If all the energy that ever was and ever will be already exists, it's just in the quantum field. It's in a field of intelligence that's beyond third dimension. It's beyond visible light, but it's in a field. And then I started pulling different things, different possibilities, different futures from the field towards me because my frequency changed. I went from a frequency of, I'm a struggling author. I am a struggling thought leader. God, please help me become a world renowned thought leader, inspiring millions of people, which is really saying, I'm struggling. I don't have enough. I'm not, I went to, I am all of these things. I'm a world renowned thought leader, inspiring millions of people across the globe. I started imagining my YouTube channel blowing up, great comments, all of it. I was so excited. It hadn't happened, but I got excited. So my, what changed? My frequency changed. So then my frequency starts vibrating up here and I start attracting different things back to me that match that new frequency. And guess what? Out of nowhere, my videos started going viral. And then I had new problems. The new problems were, oh my gosh, there's all these people and oh my gosh, right? Not really a problem, but then all these different things start happening. What changed? My frequency changed. Prayer is a um, opportunity to express your frequency to the higher power. To communicate, to commune your frequency to the higher power. And most people are always praying for more of what they don't want. In the Bible it says, to those that have, more will be given. To those that do not have, even that which they have will be taken away. I didn't have, that's why my wife was in, she was in debt not because she was dumb with money, but because I wasn't making any and she was trying to support me and doing what I wanted with my life. To those that do not have, even that which they have will be taken away. So we kept attracting constant like, oh, this person will help me, oh, then this person rips me off and then this happens and like, I, you know, I got ripped off. Like uh, all the, it actually what prompted the change in my life was I was so desperate to try to make my life work and that my career work, that I gave someone money that I shouldn't have given money to, they ripped me off, took off with the money, that was the end of it, and I didn't have any more uh, like cash, it was a really rough time. What happened was, because of that disappointment, I had an epiphany, I had an aha moment that my entire life, or at least the, the vast majority of me working on manifesting these things that I wanted, I was always pushing them into the future that would not arrive. I hope, I wish, I get. So then I went, thank you. I wrote on a piece of paper. I am a world renowned thought leader, making millions of dollars, inspiring millions of people. I started carrying it with me everywhere I went. I started training my mind to being in that reality and thanking God for it every day. Some people say, you're delusional. If that's what you want to call it, like now I have everything that I want. So is it still delusional? I don't think so. 
And that's what you can do too. And that's what I'm inviting you to do. So before you pray, now you know you're one with God. God is a divine intelligence that speaks through frequency. What you want already exists. And you're going to communicate in prayer your frequency to God. What you want already exists. You will see it in form. And just because you can't see it yet doesn't mean that it's an evidence that it's not coming or you're not good enough or you're not smart enough. It has nothing to do with that. So this is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com. You are one with God. You are one with this intelligence. It speaks and you speak to each other through this higher power, through frequency, through consciousness. Consciousness is what creates the subatomic particles. It's what rearranges the physical world of matter. And you've been given consciousness to take this divine intelligence to create what you want. So if you haven't yet, I created a technology called the second mind. Now the second mind is a technology designed to retrain the brain because the problem can be that your brain is wired to all of these past limitations, these old ways of viewing reality, separate from God, separate from what I want. So I created a technology to retrain my brain to live in the reality that I wanted changed my life and now over a hundred thousand people from all over the world have used it it's free to demo it's right there down below the secondmind.com right there down below that's the secondmind.com right there down below so go ahead demo that then hit the subscribe button the bell notification like this video if you like this video it's what sends it out into the YouTube universe so comment down below comment down below I am one with the universe the universe speaks frequency and now you can practice living in the frequency, the energy of what you want before you see it in the physical world because it just exists. It's just like you blow a dog whistle and you can't hear the dog whistle. Well, is the dog whistle really happening? Yeah, it's just going at a level of sound that your ears can't hear. It's at a level of energy that your physical senses can't perceive. Similarly, what you want just might be at a level of energy your eyes cannot see, but you're going to speak it into existence, into this reality with your frequency, with your consciousness. So the second mind right there down below, go like this, have an absolutely great day, smile really, really big. Today's going to be fantastic. Great things are headed your way. I'll talk to you soon.